Hello everyone and welcome back to Amateur Charmaine Storm Chasing. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me today. And as you can see, I'm kind of holed up here in the basement right now. We've got some rain and storms about to move into the area and I'm really wanting to kind of play around with my HEQ5 mount. So I figured I'd do a video series on how you actually set up a mount, uh, how the polar alignment and everything like that. So let's go ahead and get started. So some of you guys may know I just got the HEQ5 Pro in about a week ago and I've had about a week now to really play around with it and I've actually had one clear night where I was actually able to set it up and successfully actually get the picture before some clouds moved in. So I think I've got a pretty good feel now of how to set everything up, how to properly polar align and also do the 1, 2 and 3 star alignment. So as I said earlier I'm going to do like a quick video series just to maybe kind of clear some things up and you know explain to you guys is kind of how to work your way through all of this stuff because I know whenever I first opened this thing up I was definitely intimidated by the size of it and just kind of how complicated everything seems but in the long run it's really not that complicated whatsoever and I want to show you exactly step by step how I do all this so what's in the box whenever you first open up your new HEQ5 Pro you've got your two 11 pound counterweights your sky scan hand controller a saddle to mount your hand controller onto the tripod with your 12 volt power cord for the mount itself and the power cord for the SkyScan hand controller unit, a eyepiece holder to go between the legs of the tripod, a bolt to actually go through that eyepiece holder and into the actual mount itself, a Vixen style mounting plate that mounts onto the mount, the actual mount itself, and two instructional booklets, one for the SkyScan hand control unit and the other for the actual mount itself. You also get a couple little Allen wrenches here. I'm not too sure what the larger one's used for quite yet. I'm sure it's just to make some minor adjustments on the mount. But the small one here is used to align the actual polar scope in the mount itself, which I'll talk about in another video. One thing to take note of on your tripod is this little prong right here, and also this end, because this is the side of your tripod that you're going to use to align with the celestial pole whenever you're polar aligning. There's also an area in the mount that you'll see whenever you attach the actual head of the mount to the tripod that this prong right here goes into. Alright, whenever you get ready to start putting things together, make sure the legs on the tripod are spread as far apart as you can possibly get them. That way it's as stable as possible. And as you can see too, the counterweight bar on itself is actually retractable, which is a pretty neat little feature. And there's a clutch right here that will actually lock it into place. So if you want to, just go ahead and lock that up so it's not sliding around whenever you're trying to actually put this thing on. And be careful with it because this thing's actually pretty heavy. And you may have to adjust these bolts right here to make sure that it slides on properly. And you'll notice whenever it actually fits on there snugly. Then whenever you actually get it on, tighten down these two screws that you see right here. But don't get too hectic with it yet. Now you need to take your eyepiece holder and this bolt that I mentioned earlier and mount those here to the bottom. You'll see that there's a smaller end of this right here and this is the part that threads up through the tripod into the mount itself. So just get that lined up and hold your mount steady and tighten that up. Now you'll notice once you first put it in there that it's actually kind of loose so whenever you need it to thread into the mount itself be sure to push up on it until it makes contact with the mount. Now you'll take your eyepiece holder that I mentioned earlier and you'll put that on. And whenever you first put it on there, be sure to push up on it with some pretty good force because this tripod right here is no slouch. And then you'll just screw that into place. And that right there is what gives this tripod here its extra sturdy support. So earlier I actually forgot to mention these two butterfly bolts come in the package as well. And these are used to adjust your latitude for your polar alignment. You also notice there are actually two different lengths here. And I found that it's a little bit easier to put the shorter one here in the side, same size as your counterweight bar. Because that way that avoids your counterweight possibly messing with this thing in the future. And then put the longer one here in the back towards the same side as your polar scope. And then just screw those in till they're snug. Now you go ahead and start getting your SkyScan 
controller hooked up. I found that it's actually best to put the saddle for the controller here on the rear left le leg of the tripod. Because here it's closest to the actual hookup and you prevent it from stretching your core too far. So far anyways, this is what seems to be working for me. And as you can see here on the cord for the controller, there's actually two different sides here, a side that's got this little box on it right here, and I'm not sure if this makes a difference in the long run. I found it's actually easier just to plug that side into the controller itself. And go ahead and put the controller down here. And then you just take the other side here and plug it into the hand controller port here on the mount. And then at this point, all you really have left is your actual power port for the mount itself. I'll just go ahead and plug that in. And then so far, I've just been leaving the cord hanging out down here around the eyepiece tray. It doesn't really seem to be much of an issue. And then besides that, go ahead, loosen up the clutch for your counterweight bar, let that down. And down here on the bottom, there's actually a screw that holds the counterweights on just in case you loosen them up and they fall. So you take that screw out, take one of your counterweights, put that on, and go ahead and tighten that down. It's a good idea to hold the counterweight on there, just in case you didn't get it down tight enough before you put the bottom holder screw back on. And then really, that's all there is to it. All you have left is your Vixen plate, and all that does is simply just slide in here at the top. So thank you guys so, so much for watching today. Be sure to subscribe down below because I've got plenty more tutorials coming this week on the HEQ5 Pro here. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy.